Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh For today's lesson, we are going to learn about compound nouns What is compound noun? A compound noun is a noun that is made up of two or more words Most compound nouns in English are formed by nouns modified by other nouns or adjectives Let's see the example The words tooth and paste are each nouns in their own right but if you join them together, they form a new word, which is toothpaste. The word black is an adjective and board is a noun. But if you join them together, they form a new word, which is blackboard. Compound noun can also be formed using the following combinations of words. It can be noun plus noun, such as toothpaste. Or it can be a combination between adjective and noun, which is monthly ticket. Or verb plus noun, such as swimming pool, preposition and noun. And it becomes underground, noun and verb, such as haircut, noun and preposition, such as hanger on. Adjective plus verb such as dry cleaning and preposition and verb which is output the two parts may be written in a number of ways sometimes the two words are joined together example tooth paste become tooth paste or bed plus room it becomes bed room as the second ways is they are joined using a hyphen what is hyphen hyphen is a dash between the two words such as check in and the third way they appear as two separate words such as full moon it is still considered as compound noun but it is appear as two separate word so how do you know if the compound word if the compound noun is in a first way, the second way, or the third way? Well, a good dictionary will tell you how you should write each compound noun. Now, can you bring the words together and make a new word? For the first line, we have hair, finger, ear, back, back, brain, day, and nature. For the second list, we have lover, light, ring, packer, storm, bone, print and cut so let's match these two lists and make a new word and here we will get hair cut fingerprint earring backbone backpacker brainstorm daylight and nature level and maybe you have another else maybe you can add some more Let's take a look at another example and we may do some practice here. Now, this is from your grammar. This is from your textbook on page 9. First, let's read the sentences aloud. Najmi plays football every evening at the school field. Kamini's room is decorated with colorful wallpaper. There were a lot of cars on the highway yesterday. If you notice, there are three examples of compound noun, which are football, wallpaper, and highway. Now, let's do this activity together. Fill in the blanks with compound nouns from the table. Example, a cowboy lives on a ranch. Number one. KLIA is a very modern. So from these two lists, we can make up a new word which is air and port. So it becomes airport. Number two, there is only one left on a plate. So the keyword here is plate. So the answer must be some kind of food. So what food can we make up from these two lists? The answer is cup and Okay, so the answer, oh sorry, the answer is cupcake. Number three, D is very polite to his customer. 
So, this is the action towards the customer. So, the person here must be someone who work in a shop. So, the answer here is shopkeeper. Number four. She was in the kitchen when the what rang. So, what is the thing that is ringing? The answer is bell. And what match with the bell? Doorbell. Number five. Najmi is a since what? They are in six robotics. So, six robotics is a class. So, these two friends are class mate. The answer is classmate. Number six. Lee and his father loves to eat while watching televisions. And we left with ground nuts. The answer here is ground nuts. Let's take a look. Let's brainstorm a bit about the word book. What else? can we make from the word book so we have a lot actually maybe we can list a bookworm and it or it can be a book cover or the book shelf book shop bookmark and I believe there is more that you can think of. Now let's do this activity together. Take out your activity book and go to page 4. Now, all we need to do is match the pictures to form compound nouns. Then, write the answer in the space provided. The first one has been done for you as the first one is a picture of a cup and a board so the compound noun is cupboard number two we have jelly number three we have wall number four is rain number five is sea number six is neck and then on the other half we have coat fish tie pepper and shell now let's match these two pictures together and form a compound noun first jelly the answer is jellyfish wall pepper rain coat C shell and the last one is neck tie well then everyone before we end our lesson today let's do some word focus as we done earlier we have two noun that is, that is combined together and become a compound noun which is cupcake and become a cupcake First, we have done about we have learned about autobiography. What is autobiography? An autobiography is a story or book about one's life. Folklore. Folklore is a traditional stories, legends and customs of a certain country. Bookworm, a person who likes to read books very much. Peeped. To look through a hole or some opening secretly. Scarecrow, an object usually of a person in old clothes placed in a field to scare crows away from crops. Greens or vegetables. Smashed, to break something into pieces violently by hitting or throwing it. Froze. To stop moving suddenly and stay very still. Biologist. 
someone who studies or specializes in biology or the scientific study of living things. And the last one is wiggle, to move from side to side or up and down. Thank you for your attention and see you on the next class. Bye. Assalamualaikum.